we have like 74, I think, principals in this, so it's quite a lot. And Daniel and Rooney, they have like 45 to 48 changes each. So it's building them a closet. So I kind of go down and break down the script, uh, do kind of vision boards of what I like, of like just uh, like things for vibe, things of like haircuts and makeup and clothing and environment and that kind of thing. And then I went over all that with David and we kind of stuck to certain color palettes and um, you know, we picked out what we liked, what we thought we didn't need. And then I start to shop and do fittings and we kind of build a closet of main pieces. And then from those main pieces, we'll pull out continually and make different changes. So it's like someone's personal closet. When they cast me, Daniel was already in place. I remember I wasn't that nervous to read with him. It's always so much better to read with an actor. And I remember he was really fit. He just had come from New Mexico from Cowboys and Aliens. And he was like touching his toes, stretching. And I was like, oh my God, he's like a ninja. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was in probably the best shape of my life. And David went, get fat. And it was, it was a struggle, but I, I managed. <laughs> For Daniel, the idea was to bulk him up, make him look a little less fit, a little less active, a little less Bond. I wanted him to have somewhat of a uniform, where she has no uniform. Everything's really worn in, and she's all palettes of just gray and black. And so for him, I wanted to have this style he dresses. It's fitted in a way, but then they're really relaxed and comfortable. So all his shirts are wrinkled. You know, he doesn't really iron his shirts. Really easy in the collar, kind of open. He's kind of half tucked in, not tucked in. Wears a lot of vests, and as it progressed to get colder, we did bigger, heavier cardigans, scarves, <laughs> jackets. I wanted to start with things he was familiar with, so I started with suits, because we do need some suits throughout the film for like his court trials and Christmas parties and stuff. So we kind of started there with those tailored pieces. Then we started working in the sweaters and the layers and trying to bulk him up a bit to make him look a little bit heavier, a little bit slouchier. But I really had a good time dressing him, you know, he's fun to dress. And he always kind of had the same jeans. We had this brand of jeans, Scotch and Soda, that he pretty much wears the entire film. It was like his favorite pair of jeans, so we got 30 pair of them. 